हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक इन मोर वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू द आंसर ऑफ यूर ऑल क्वेरीज एंड ऑल डाउट दैट यू आस्क फ्राम दी कल कपल ऑफ ईयर्स बट नॉट रिस्पॉन्स लाइक नो वन कैन रिस्पॉन्स इन ए प्रॉपर वे एंड यू आर ऑल्सो नॉट एबल टू लाइक फिगर आउट यर प्रॉब्लम फिगर आउट द सोल्यूशन सो दिस वीडियो फॉर यू एंड वन मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग दिस इज़ द लास्ट वीडियो फ्राम माई साइड Uh, on this topic as, as well as this is the last video for you because if you are not able to start your dsa just uh, like become the good problem solver just uh, build the good confidence on the problem solving not able to consistent not able to you have not a uh, straight forward uh, like uh, plan for your dsa then believe me a dsa is not for you because no one can explain on this level of or you can say simplify the uh, things on this level for your dsa for your problem solving for your preparation strategy how to start how to end how to build uh, your problem solving skills how to uh, build your accuracy and confidence on dsa no one can explain you on this uh, le- like on the on this easy way or you can say on the level of this straight forward statement or straight forward strategy so this video for you uh, so without wasting a time just let's start a video so i spend a lot of time on this and after that i realized that most of the students struggle either to start the dsa if someone start then struggle with uh, uh, with the consistency not able to consistent uh, like uh, like contain or you can say just uh, follow up your dsa entire the preparation or you can say not consistent on the practice if someone consistent then not able to complete it if someone able to complete the entire dsa uh, like learning or you can say dsa preparation start to end then not able to build the strong confidence on the problem solving so the question is why why like why this all problem with you and why you are not able to start with the same energy and end with the same energy with a good confidence on the problem solving or like thinking why why this problem with you so the main reason of this problem is overwhelming hype and over complex preparation strategy from last couple of year i see on the linkedin and twitter people just try to make the uh, complex strategy complex problem statement in front of you so that the particular person want to sell the courses and the resources uh, uh, in the public or you can say with the student right or you can say just try to uh, build the over hyped and over hyped with uh, like hypothetical images for the dsa dsa to tough or maintaining the streak or maintaining the consistency or like become a good problem solving is too tough this blah blah things right after this all thing just try to completely completely understand uh, for in terms of fresher in terms of uh, student in terms of those student that are come completely from the non coding background these the kind of thing is completely able to destroy your entire the uh, dsa that's why this 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 is a thing why you are not able to end or you can say start your dsa because the overwhelming hype or you can say over complex preparation strategy so what is the solution for this uh, like this problem so in this video i am going to give you the five stages of the preparation strategy and believe me this uh, five stages of preparation strategy help me to code consistently over the last five year and this is really really game changer or you can say roller coaster for your dsa preparation no one can uh, like explain in this level of simplicity so let's start uh, with the first point and the first point or you can say first state is uh, start with always basic if you are came from kind of the any non coding background or you can say you nothing know about the coding you nothing know about the any programming language or you can say you nothing know about the in computer science then you can just always start your dsa preparation with always always a one programming language and the my preference is always a python because python like is a very kind of the uh, english layman uh, strategy based language you just learn easily in a week you just follow the any tutorial or you can say one short video 3 to 4 hour one short video one short video and after that you just understand the looping functions if else conditions and the all the basic things that we have in the uh, like programming language right and after that you can start solving the 100 and 200 mathematical based problem that cover all the uh, mathematical patterns fundamentals and like permutations and combinations or prime number factorial sangam stone number pnc uh, fibonacci kind of stuff these all thing build your intuition build your how to think uh, in terms of coding how like just build your logical thinking just build your intuition how to think uh, whenever you solve the problem in terms of coding so where you just practice this 100 and 200 problems so for this the best seat is 150 uh, programming seat that i already built for you and the student use from the last 1.5 year and this is a 
वन ऑफ द बेस्ट सीट फॉर यू टू बिल्ड योर फंडामेंटल इन टर्म्स ऑफ इफ यू आर कम्प्लीटली बिगनर देन यू कैन जस्ट कम्प्लीटली स्टार्ट विद दैट बिकॉज दिस सीट इज कम्प्लीटली कम्प्लीटली बेस्ड ऑन द मैथामेटिक्स मोस्ट ऑफ द टॉपिक आर कम्प्लीटली जस्ट टेक बाय दी ऑन टेंथ एंड टेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ मैथामेटिक्स इंस्पायर्ड बाई दी मैथामेटिक्स बिकॉज आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू बिल्ड योर माइंड सेट इन टर्म्स ऑफ मैथामेटिकल रीजनिंग सो दैट इट्स हेल्प यू टू इन वेन एवर यू स्टार्ट योर डी एस ए जर्नी वेन एवर यू स्टार्ट डू प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग सॉल्व दी प्रॉब्लम इन कॉन्टेस्ट और दिस सॉल्व द कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रॉब्लम दैट हेल्प यू टू थिंक हेल्प टू इन टू बिल्ड द इंटुएशन बिहाइंड द प्रॉब्लम राइट सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप आफ्टर दैट नाउ द सेकेंड स्टेप इज नाउ स्टार्ट द डी एस ए आफ्टर लाइक लर्निंग दी ऑन प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सॉल्व दी वन हंड्रेड टू टू हंड्रेड फंडामेंटल प्रॉब्लम नाउ यू आर कम्प्लीटली रेडी टू स्टार्ट डी एस ए बिकॉज यू नो हाउ टू वट इज प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज हाउ टू थिंक एंड हाउ टू लाइक बिल्ड द इंटुएशन यू ऑलरेडी नो बिकॉज यू सॉल्व दी टू हंड्रेड एंड हंड्रेड वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी प्रॉब्लम्स ऑलरेडी देन इट्स इनफ टू बिल्ड योर इंटुएशन राइट राइट नाउ स्टार्ट डी एस ए सो यू कैन स्टार्ट डी एस ए विथ एनी ऑफ योर फेवरेट इंस्ट्रक्टर एनी ऑफ योर फेवरेट रिसोर्सेज and most of the almost all the courses cover 300 to 450 classical problem with same strategy similar approaches same patterns only the difference is the way of delivery if you want to check so what you can do just open the 3 and 4 parallel uh, like courses in a parallel on your screen and just try to thoroughly visit the curriculum just try to thoroughly visit the playlist approaches and like how the particular uh, instructor like solve the problem just just thoroughly parallelly watch all the five uh, four to five resources then you can realize that what i am trying to explain you because most of the student in in india just try to waste a time to for identify or can say pick up the resources best resources for the preparation strategy believe me you just want to build your uh, coding uh, foundation or you can say you just want to build your fundamental algorithmic fundamental all the resources are same you just start with any one and one more important thing this 300 and 400 problem never 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 improve your problem solving this 300 to 400 problem is build your strong foundation on dsa in terms of algorithmic skills in terms of algorithm in terms of pattern identification in terms of how you think how to just try to identify the problem the particular problem on uh, based on which algorithm how to solve optimally problem how to use the uh, optimal algorithm with the optimal approaches for that particular problem these all thing you build uh, in your like this 300 to 400 problem journey that's it problem solving never 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 improved or you can say this 300 to 400 problem never improved your problem solving this is highly highly designed or highly highly recommended recommended for your prob uh, fundamental you can suggest foundation this build your strong foundation in terms of identification in terms of algorithmic skills in terms of data structure right now move on the third step now the third step is just start the random practice this step or you can say this uh strategy to improve your problem solving when you complete or you can say done your 300 to 400 uh, problems with any of resources according to your interest according to your trust then you can start thoroughly start solving the problem regularly or you can say start solving the random problem in any coding platform start participating in the contest this is this uh, step is completely completely based or you can say build your problem solving skills build your speed accuracy and confidence because whenever you just try to solve the random problem using your those learning those skill set those knowledge that we that you gain via like 300 to 400 problem then this step defined how you are good or you can say how you are comfortable with a new problem or you can say with a modified or integrated problem whenever you just try to solve for example in 300 to 400 problem we are just basically solve the three, uh, 10 to 20 problems on the binary research in terms of uh, like uh, we have a standard problem kind of the we have a, a cocos banana problems we have a pentor partition we have a like cows and horse i i i just i think these all are the problem based on the binary research uh, we have a kind of the uh, upper bound lower bound these are the st- uh, standard classical problem you can say standard frame of the binary research but doesn't mean this is the end of the binary research whenever you start solving the problem then you can realize that we have a different different forms of the binary research how can you how can you implement binary research with dfs bfs how can we implement binary research with a stack how can we implement binary research with a monotonic stack monotonic queue right these all thing whenever you start solving the problem then you can realize that how to integrate or how you just use your predefined knowledge to solve the real problem or so kind of a 
रेयर और यू कैन से न्यू प्रॉब्लम और काइंड ऑफ दी कम्प्लीटली अननोन प्रॉब्लम दैट यू आर नेवर सी बिफोर योर दिस टाइम राइट सो दिस स्टेप बिल्ड योर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग स्किल्स द सेकेंड स्टेप ओनली फॉर ओनली दैट बिल्ड योर फाउंडेशन स्ट्रॉन्ग फाउंडेशन वेन एवर स्टार्ट द रेंडम सॉल्विंग अ रेंडम प्रॉब्लम यूजिंग योर लर्निंग दिस डिफाइंड और दिस हेल्प यू टू बिल्ड योर स्ट्रॉन्ग कॉन्फिडेंस ऑन प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग एंड दिस बिल्ड योर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग स्किल्स ऑलवेज रिमेंबर राइट नाउ मूव ऑन दी फिफ्थ फोर्थ पॉइंट द फोर्थ पॉइंट इज वर्क ऑन योर मिस्टेक और यू कैन से वीक एरियाज आफ्टर लाइक सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम ऑन द रेगुलर बेसिस जस्ट ट्राई टू कीप ट्रैक योर मिस्टेक एंड जस्ट नोट डाउन इन नोट डाउट लाइक जस्ट योर वट एवर टाइप ऑफ मिस्टेक दैट यू डन इन योर सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम एंड जस्ट फोकस ऑन योर वीक टॉपिक्स आफ्टर दैट रिव्यू दैम रेगुलरली एंड इंश्योर दैट आफ्टर लाइक इम्प्रूविंग और मिस्टेक और जस्ट लाइक थॉरली रिवाइज और यू कैन से सॉल्विंग द लॉर्ड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम इन योर वीक टॉपिक जस्ट ट्राई टू मेक्स योर नेवर नेवर रिपीट the same mistake with your upcoming uh, or you can say futuristic problem because if you are repeating same mistake again and again then you are not learning the dsa you are not uh, push your limits you just try to memorize the thing that's why always always avoid if you are doing the mistake then you can just work on that just improve your mistake just solve the problem and after that try to avoid the same mistake right because this help you to track your entire the mistake pipeline and this help you to clearly clearly give the uh, kind of the visualization what is your the weak point and what is your the strong point so that you can start according to that uh, practice on that particular topic for example if you are uh, like doing a, a lot of mistake in the binary search it means you have a two types of problem either you are weak in the binary search uh, algorithmic implementation either you have not the basic fundamental you can say or you have a not the clear about or you can say you are not you have not the basic knowledge about the binary search so first you can learn the binary search uh, proper way just uh, understand all the basic uh, terminology understand all the uh, framed or you can say classical problem based on the binary search after that you can just try to solve the algorithms the based on the binary search for example aggressive cow coco bananas or uh, uh, penter partition and lot of problem we have this, this is the classical problem based on the binary search so this is the example for you because your mistake or your uh, like the speed of uh, improving your mistake or you can say just focusing how can you focus how can how just take this serious uh, in the form of your mistaking part this defined how you are like seriously or you can say consistently work on for the problem solving not for the dsl learning right so this is the step 4 now just moving on the last step that is the step 5 now the step 5 is review and plan your progress what is the meaning of review and plan your progress every week just try to maintain the note whatever you uh, like mistake that you done in the entire week and after that according to your performance in terms of uh, just try to evaluate your performance weekly basis or biweekly basis how can we evaluate your performance in terms of contest how many problem you solve in contest in terms of random problem how how uh, like how many problem that you solve the entire week without any taking the help randomly problem that you solve without taking the only solu- without watching the any solution without taking the any help from the internet and or you can say just try to identify on the basis of how many t- mistake that you done or you can say that you uh, uh, like face entire your week right so on this three or four parameter just try to evaluate, evaluate your uh, performance and according to that just try to build or you can say make your next sprint next week plan so that you can start working on that properly and why the, the particular uh, step is important because this last step give you the prop per review or you can say proper path of for your next a uh, week just give you the proper plan for your next week okay what which type of uh, mistake that you avoid for your next upcoming uh, week or which type of algorithm or which topic do you need to work on that particular topic what uh, work on that particular algorithm this step defined your entire the next upcoming one week of the dsa preparation that's why this is the mandatory point of the entire this five point right So yeah, this just follow this all the five point uh, with consistency or you can say discipline uh, with a, with a discipline is the upcoming six to eight month and believe me after just a week no 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 need to wait a lot of time just just follow this entire the five four five step the upcoming the one and two week and just see the result. Believe me, this five step only for the help me to just like code code from the last five month uh, five years. in the consistent way i just code a lot i just solve a lot of problem i just solved up 
different different coding platforms i just uh, also participate in the contest just try to solve the problem using this strategy i also participating in the lot of different different open source contribution solving the real world problem using this same strategy so this same strategy as well i just deliver for you if you are not able to still start how can you start how can you think how to uh, how to like start your uh, problem solving skills uh, like uh, like preparation in terms of dsa in terms of after learning dsa so believe me dsa is literally for not for you because no one can explain these things on this level in a this uh, straight forward way otherwise if you are completely know what i'm trying to explain you then no no need to watch the video again just close everything and start with this five point this is enough enough for your preparation right so yeah this is all about today video and milte hain kabhi aur kisi aur video mein tab tak ke liye keep learning and all the best